Well, the man accused of the brutal killings of four college students in Moscow, Idaho, stayed silent today when asked to enter a plea in the murder and burglary case against him. Brian Koberger facing a judge and, for the first time, distraught family members during his arraignment after a grand jury indicted him. Last week, the judge entering a plea of not guilty on his behalf. Ethan Chapin, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernoodle, and also Madison Mogan were all found stabbed to death last November in their off-campus housing. ABC News Jacqueline Lee is outside court in Moscow, Idaho, joins us now, along with ABC News legal contributor and managing partner at the Cochrane firm, Shauna Lloyd. Jacqueline, let's start with you and these family members of the victims. I, I can't even imagine what it was like in there for them to have to see Koberger standing right there in front of them. What was the reaction? That's right, Kira. It was a lot of different emotions, right? You saw some anger, you saw sadness, um, and you saw some, some, some frustration. Uh, we saw with Kaylee's parents, they were very, very upset when the judge uh, pronounced Kaylee's name wrong, and the judge also pronounced uh, Zana's name wrong. And so when Zana's name was pronounced incorrectly multiple times, you, you heard people who were in the court go, no. You know, just because it, it's kind of a slap in the face, these people were murdered. Um, Kaylee's family, the mom was wiping away tears. Uh, she was um, bobbing her knee anxiously, and ultimately, they're coming face to face with the man who is being charged with murdering their loved ones. And this whole time leading up to this, um, the family, the families have gone on the record saying they just want justice and they want whoever did this to be held accountable. Kira. So Shauna, what are we learning about Koberger at hiring three capital punishment certified attorneys uh, within his legal team? What does that mean? What do you make of that? His defense team is being proactive. What they're trying to stave off is this defend, this death penalty possibility. If the state files a motion within 60 days to seek the death penalty, this is now put on and added into the trial as something else jurors will have to look for, these aggravating factors. He's preemptively securing attorneys that are specialized in this area and specialized in ensuring that juries do not find those mitigating factors. So Jacqueline, the quadruple homicide completely rocked this, this college town, small, quiet, uh, tight-knit community. Just give us an idea of, of how these murders impacted the community and, and what they're saying as, as they're watching this all unfold. Well, I mean, first off, in the immediate aftermath, there was so much fear throughout the community because it was such a heinous crime. Um, but let's talk about this on an economic level. The Moscow mayor saying it's been a very difficult six months. The city already had a very slim budget. Uh, and once you add in the increased patrols, um, the cost of the investigation, the overtime, the expenses just continue to, over, um, continue to grow. And so officials have said that this um, increased need for patrols and just the cost of everything has taken taken away from improving the city's infrastructure, for example. Um, and then also, leading up to the hearing today, people in town, they know all about this case. So I think there's a lot of curiosity about what this potential motive could be um, and ultimately how all this evidence will be presented moving forward. Kira. All right, Jacqueline Lee, Sean Lloyd, thank you both so much. And also ABC Audio just announced a new true crime podcast about this case. It's called The King Road Killings. And you can listen to the trailer now wherever you get your podcasts. Be sure to click the follow button to get the episodes delivered right to your phone when the series actually launches on June 7th. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.